bit. The cameramen often amused themselves by surreptitiously filming the girls. Women weren't allowed to wear, definitely not jeans, definitely not trousers. You had to wear a dress, you had to wear a skirt, and they could be mini skirts because that was the period of mini skirts. And so you were actually quite indecently dressed quite often, these absolutely minute mini skirts, myself included. But on Saturdays, you were allowed to wear slacks. Not jeans, not trousers, slacks. There was an occasion when in the ladies' loo, which was sort of shack down the, down the track, uh, some brown snakes are set up home in the ladies' loo, and I'm going, oh, I can't go to the loo, I can't go to the loo. And they were saying, oh, well, just go in the bush then. You know, just don't go in there. There's this terrible thing, this poor, any girl on the set, which the, commu the, uh, the continuity girl and me and the makeup girls, trying to, <laughs> they were always filming us going, it was just awful. So the rushes at the end of the day, you'd see these poor girls looking around, hoping that we could see, oh, awful. Riotous laughter. Now I'm all set, gonna go out and get you by hook or crook. Hello, Mr. Hammond. Breakfast made you ready. Oh, Clancy, you shouldn't have bothered. Oh, it's the least I can do. Oh, I also filled your car up for you. Oh, it's all right. I always do that for Dad. Clearly influenced by these types of gender divisions, Jermaine Greer was soon at work on her classic feminist text, The Female Eunuch. <gasps> But surprisingly, she can empathise with poor Clancy's plight. When I was 15 and I stayed on a farm and one morning I decided, just like she does, that I'm going to cook the breakfast. I was probably cooking breakfast for about 12 men and you had to go milk the cow, get the eggs, da-da-da-da, light the big two-fire stove, get, get the big heavy skillet hot, um, get the bacon melted in the oven, get the guy's boots warmed in the other oven. And I can remember breaking like two dozen fresh eggs into this huge iron skillet and then dishing up all these eggs and the bacon and the porridge and everything. And I felt as if I'd climbed Mount Everest. I was so, so proud. I have no objection to the division of labour. It's just that um, the women's work should be regarded with as much respect as the men's. First law of survival, Sonny. Never argue with a woman. Skip the Alfred Emma True.